But as I come on back, I'm just gonna make this all one fluid motion. So let's see what that looks like. Again, good full shoulder turn. As I come on through, I'm gonna hold that finish for three seconds. I wanna put a T in the ground, and I'm actually gonna clip that T. If you're in your living room, that's completely fine. Just imagine there's a T in the way. You don't have to actually hit the T out of the ground. If I'm out on the driving range, don't add a ball yet. Get used to making this swing without hitting a golf ball. Just feel like you clipped the T out of the ground. Turn back, turn through, hold my finish. I don't want to lose my finish for at least three seconds. And I'm going to repeat this a good four or five times. Again, I'll go without the T. Again, making a big full turn, squaring the hands and then coming on through. So I put that all together. Nice swing, hold the finish for three seconds. Let my feet rotate, both on the back swing. So as my left heel may lift a little bit, my hips are rotating, my shoulders are rotating. As I come on through, this is a big key, let that right foot come all the way on around. So again, without any pauses, hold that finish for three seconds, and you're well on your way to building that muscle memory. Now let's go ahead and add the golf ball. All right, so now we're gonna hit a golf ball with this. I'm gonna hit a few on my flight scope and I'm just gonna talk about the same key checkpoints. So again, as I'm hitting a golf ball now, I'm just running through exactly what we've done. I'm hinging forward. I'm making sure I've got a good turn going back and through and really finishing my swing hold for three seconds. All right, so that was a nice shot. We see that I held my fall through on this one instead of focusing on the turn back and through, now I'm gonna focus on squaring up that club face. So again, I go to the top, I square the face, and then I rotate on through. If I square that face early, it's gonna help me to compress the golf ball, hit a bit of a better draw on this one, and really get some compression on this golf ball. Again, hold your finish. One, two, three seconds. And then finally, I'm gonna focus on my follow through. So for here, I'm really gonna work on holding that finish with my chest nice and high, completing my swing, staying completely in balance for that three seconds. So when I finish my swing here, I wanna be able to pick up my left foot, stay completely in balance until that ball lands. That's gonna help me to stay really centered in my body, be much more consistent when I'm doing this, but still get a lot of power because I'm finishing my backswing and I'm finishing my follow through. 